In this video, I'm going to explain why I chose the Canon R6 for professional video. The Canon R6 was released about a year ago with its big brother, the Canon R5, and much of the discussion was based on the overheating issues that these cameras suffered from. In this video, I will discuss that issue or lack thereof, as well as some of the features that I think make this a great option for professional video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott Clark with Scooter Media, and today we're talking about the Canon R6 for video and why I decided on this camera for my professional workflow. On this channel, we provide filmmaking tutorials and tips and tricks, as well as doing some product reviews. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Let's get into it. I have been using the Canon R6 for the last six months for professional video shoots, as well as all of my YouTube videos, and honestly, it has been fantastic. I shoot everything from corporate videos to music videos to documentaries and short films, as well as some on-demand television productions, and it has worked flawlessly in all of these scenarios. The first reason I would say I got this camera is the full frame RF mount and the ability to adapt all of the EF and EFS lenses that I've collected over the years. The fact that all these lenses work on this camera with the Canon RF to EF adapter is amazing. I also purchased the Canon adapter that includes the drop in variable ND filter, which basically gives me built in ND filters for all of the EF and EFS lenses that I own, which I would highly recommend buying if you do do a lot of video work. The fact that Canon is producing a full range of the beautiful new RF lenses was also a factor in me getting this camera and I can't wait to get my hands on some of them. The next reason and one of the main reasons I chose the R6 is the overall image quality. When I was researching new cameras on the market, I was checking out other YouTube videos and was blown away with the 4K image coming out of this camera. After using this thing for a few months on different projects, I can honestly say that the image quality is amazing. It shares virtually the same 20.1 megapixel sensor as the much more expensive Canon 1DX Mark III and shoots sharp 4K video over sample from 5.1K that is absolutely stunning. I shoot 95% of my videos in C-Log, so I have as much flexibility in post-production as possible, but have had a couple of quick turnaround projects that weren't shot in log and the image straight out of the camera was great. With a recent firmware update, the camera received C-Log 3 which is a welcome addition, and since it has arrived, I have shot pretty much everything in C-Log3. The next thing that really makes this a pro camera is the ability to shoot 4K, 10-bit, 422 C-Log video internally up to 60 frames a second. After shooting and grading the 10-bit video out of this thing, it is amazing the flexibility and dynamic range you have in post. Grading this footage is a breeze and the image doesn't break down when doing a heavy grade. The fact that you can shoot 120 frames per second in HD is a bonus, and I have used this and upscaled it to 4K on many occasions. Just be aware that there is no audio recorded when shooting in 120 frames per second. The enhanced Dual Pixel 2 autofocus on the Canon R6 is on a whole nother level. It has face tracking as well as eye detection autofocus for humans and animals that works great in all modes. I have put the camera on a gimbal and with the amazing autofocus, it's great for tracking people, allowing me to concentrate on the composition. I basically shoot all my YouTube videos in autofocus and know that if my face is facing the camera, I'll be in focus. I have relied on the autofocus for some pretty big projects and way more than I ever thought I would. It's that good. The next thing is the IBIS or in-body image stabilization and it is pretty amazing in this camera. I have seen other videos that talk about the IBIS wobble with the Canon RF 15-35 lens, but in my case the two wide angle lenses that I am currently using did not cause the wobble. I have tried shooting vlog style and handheld with a lens that includes image stabilization and it works amazing. I shoot most of my stuff with a tripod or a gimbal, but with this feature built in I have found myself doing more and more handheld shots. Some of the other video features that the R6 includes are the time lapse movie mode which makes it super easy to do a time lapse that is already put together for you in camera. I have used this on multiple occasions and it is a great addition to the camera. The dual card slots now allow you to record to both slots at the same time to provide two copies of your video in case there's an issue with one of the SD cards. There's a crop mode that allows you to punch in for more of a telephoto reach, but also allows you to use crop sensor lenses. I own the Sigma 18 to 35 art lens and the fact that I can use it on this camera is a bonus. The camera includes a mic jack as well as a headphone jack to monitor audio levels. The micro HDMI port provides clean 10-bit 422 output for external recording or monitoring. The R6 also offers some built-in video exposure and focus monitoring tools, including zebra patterns to visualize the exposure levels, 
as well as focus peaking to ensure proper in-focus areas. It also includes the flip-out LCD screen that really comes in handy when trying to shoot at lower or higher angles. The batteries and battery life are great, and I like the fact that the batteries are new and last a little longer, but that I can still use the Canon LPE6 batteries that I have sitting around from older Canon cameras. Now, I know I've sounded like a Canon fanboy up until this point, and there are a couple of negative things that I will touch on, starting out with the dreaded overheating issue. I've had my camera for six months now, and it has overheated exactly zero times since I got it, so far. I'm not going to tell you that it doesn't overheat, but I have yet to even see the warning light come on in all of the scenarios that I put it through. Now again, I live in Canada, so it's not like I'm filming somewhere where it's extremely hot all the time, and that may have something to do with it. I also don't shoot a lot of long format videos where I need to run the camera for two or three hours at a time, but I have filmed for two hours straight without any issues. I've shot interviews, short films, all of my talking head and b-roll shots for my YouTube videos, outside in direct sunlight, inside, etc., and it has never overheated. I will also say that I shoot basically everything in 4K, 24 frames per second, and in C-Log. Unless I know I want slow motion, then I will use 60 frames per second for short bursts for those shots. I also always turn the camera off when not in use. For me personally, and for what I use this camera for, the overheating hasn't been an issue at all up until this point. Another small negative is that this camera will shut off after 29 minutes and 59 seconds of shooting. For me, this isn't a huge deal as I'm rarely shooting for that long on one single shot, but for some people this may be a big deal. The only other small negative is that the Canon R6 records all formats in IPB compression and not all I, which means that the file sizes will be much more manageable, but technically the quality won't be as high as all I compression. I have used cameras with all I compression before, and I think you'd be hard pressed to spot the difference between the two though. All right, as you can already tell, I am super pumped about this camera and what it has done for me so far. I think the amazing 4K image quality at this price point, which here in Canada at the time of this recording is $3,200, is unreal. The fact that you can shoot 10-bit 422 C-Log internally up to 60 frames per second is great, and you also get the bonus of being able to shoot 120 frames per second in Full HD. The flawless autofocus on this camera is on another level, and I can't believe how much I use it now. And the built-in IBIS is amazing for those handheld shots, and this camera just feels right in the hands. I think the Canon R6 is the perfect option for any filmmakers that don't do a lot of long format video. For any professional videographers or content creators like myself that are using it for interviews, short films, commercials, music videos, and b-roll, I think this could be one of the best cameras on the market in this price range, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone in the market for a 4K Pro mirrorless video camera. If you guys found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as it really does help to push my videos to a larger audience. Thanks for watching today's video. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.